Hello, scholars. I'm here to help you with your first grade skills lesson. Today, we're going to be starting unit two of our skills. This is lesson one. My name is Miss James. Let's get started. Our objectives for today are to read one syllable words with short vowels, listen to and orally produce the sound E, read and write one syllable words with our new vowel digraph E, identify features of a sentence and answer questions about key details, characters, and main events. Let's review our vowel sounds. When we want to spell a word, we sound it out so we can decide what letters we need to write. Let's review our vowel sounds. Our first vowel sound is a. Ah. Say it with me, a. Ah. When we hear the sound a, ah, we write an a, like in the word hat. Our next vowel sound is i. Say it with me, i. When we hear the sound i, we'll write the letter i, as in it. Our next vowel sound is e. Say it with me, e. When we hear the sound e, we write an E, like in the word pet. Our next vowel sound is a. Uh. Say it with me, a. Uh. When you hear the sound a, uh, you would write a U, as in but. And our last vowel sound is a. Uh. Say it with me, a. Uh. When you hear ah, you write an o, like in the word hop. Remember, we can use the power bars to remind us how common this is, too. It looks like a, i, and e are very common spellings because their power bars are almost all the way across. The U is shorter. That means there could be some other spellings for U that we haven't learned about yet. And the O power bar is a little bit shorter. That means that A uh can sometimes be spelled other ways, and A uh can sometimes be spelled other ways. But we haven't learned about those yet, so we'll do our best to decide which sound we hear when we're spelling a word from what we know. Next, we're going to learn a new sound. This sound is E. Say it with me, E. One more time, E. Very good. Now we're going to practice this sound by saying some words that have E at the beginning. Repeat after me. Eat, each, east, eagle. Very good. Now let's say some words that have E in the middle. Peace, greet, meet. Heat. Great work. Now we're going to say some words that have E at the end. Repeat after me. Be. Me. Key. Tree. Great job. So the sound E can be at the beginning, the middle, or the end of a word. This time, I'm going to say some words, and I want you to raise your hand if you hear the sound E, but only if you hear the sound E, not for any other sounds. 
All right, listen carefully. If you hear E, raise your hand, and I'll do the same. Cheek. Cheap. Bed. Meat. Pen. Deep. Bean. Pen. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the back and keep working hard. Let's see what we've got next. I think we're gonna look at the sound E on one of our code cards. Here we see that the sound E can be spelled with two E's, but that power bar is short. That means there's going to be other spellings for E. Right now we're looking at the word B. It has E E and makes the sound E. For the next few lessons, whenever we see two E's, it'll be dark, just like in the word B, to remind us that two letters make one sound. What sound do these two letters make? That's right, they say E together. Next, we're going to our workbooks to practice our writing and reading, the sound E. Here, just copy what it says on the line as many times as you can fit it. First, write two E's, then what's this word? B. E, B, and they've got another word for you, E, N, seen. Write the words B and seen on the line, and eat, feet. On the next page, we're familiar with work like this. Read the words up here and then we match them to the picture and write the word on the line below. Let's read the words together and then you can match them to the pictures on your own. Let's see this first one. Say it with me. E -n. Queen. Sh e she b e b t e t match those words to the pictures in your workbook next we're going to look at a new reader since this is a new unit this one is called Gran. What do you think Gran might be short for? It might be short for Grandma or Grandmother. The three main characters in this story are going to be Gran and her grandchildren, Josh and Jen. Based on the title of our story for today, what do you think it could be about? We're gonna read the first story, Grand's Trips. What do you think that could be about? I think Gran is probably gonna go on some trips and we might learn about the different places that she goes. Do you have any other ideas? Could be that. Remember, we talked about the apostrophe. If you look here in today's title, we have one, Grand's apostrophe S. 
That means that the trips belong to Gran. They're her trips. The apostrophe means that something belongs to someone. Let's look at a map of where Gran is going to take some trips. Here we have the Gulf of Mexico. Raise your hands if you've ever been there. Here we have something called the Swiss Alps. Raise your hands if you've ever been there. And last, we have Hong Kong. Raise your hands if you've ever been there. These three places are on very different sides of the world, and you can do different things in those places. The Swiss Alps have high mountains covered with snow. Hong Kong is a busy city. And the Gulf is in the ocean, where it's normally kind of warm. Let's see what Gran is going to do on her different trip. Before we begin reading, let's look at some words we might come across so they don't trick us when we get there. We have some words that have that E sound. Let's read them. Repeat after me. C. Street, three, deep, eels, feed. Now we have some words that end in that mm sound we learned about a while ago. Repeat after me. Hong Kong. Sing. Wing. Cling. And our tricky words. When. Here. From. Was. Which one where says there were and what? Next, we have a couple vocabulary words that we might need to know for this story. Our first vocabulary word is shrugs. Shrugs means to raise your shoulders up to show that you don't know or you don't care about something. So if you shrug, it looks like this. It means you don't really know or you don't really care about something. The next word is Deep, that means to have a sharp slope. So a mountain could be very steep and it would look kind of like this. That would be really hard to get up or down. Not like our regular ground we walk on that's like this. Deep would be like this. The next word we have is slick. Slick just means slippery. Then we have cling. Cling is to hold on really tight to something to make sure it doesn't fall or let go or maybe you don't want to leave it, you would cling. Eels is our last vocabulary word. Eels are fish with bodies like a snake. You might have seen an electric eel before at an aquarium. Let's get started on our story now. Listen to Grand's trips to find out the types of adventures she has in the Swiss Alps, Hong Kong, and the Gulf. Read along with me. Grand's trip. When will Grand get here? 
Josh asked. Jen shrugs. Just then, Josh and Jen see a cab on the street. Grant is here, Jen yells. When Grant steps from the cab, Josh and Jen run up to get a hug. Here's Gran and Josh and Jen in the picture. Was the trip fun? Josh asks. Which one? Gran asks. I went on three trips. Where to? asked Josh. One was to the Swiss Alps, says Gran. In the Alps, there were steep cliffs. I went up to the top of one cliff, but it was slick. I fell and had to cling to the rock. No, says Jen. Yes, says Gran. Here is a snapshot. See the picture of her clinging to the side. What was the next trip? Josh asks. I went to Hong Kong, says Gran. What is in Hong Kong? Lots of stuff, says Gran. In Hong Kong, I met a man who sings and has wings on his back. No, says Josh. Yes, says Gran. Here is a snapshot. Here's a man. He looks like he's singing and he's got some wings on his back. What was the last trip? asked Jen. I went to the Gulf to swim with the eels and feed the fish, says Gran. No, says Jen. Yes says Gran. Here is a snapshot. Which trip was the best? Josh asks. This one, Gran says. The one where I get to see Josh and Jen. So which trip was her favorite trip? Was it Hong Kong, the Swiss Alps, or the Gulf? That's right, it was none of those. Her favorite trip was when she got to see her grandchildren after all her trips. Tricky. Let's answer some questions about this story. I'll answer them with you. Who were the main characters in this story? There were three. One was Gran, Josh, and Jen. What are Josh and Jen doing at the very beginning of the story? That's right, they're just waiting for Gran to get there. Where did Gran go before she came to see Josh and Jen? Again, three things. There were three places that she went. She went to the Swiss Alps, Hong Kong, and the Gulf of Mexico. If you remembered all three, great memory, kiss your brain. What did Graham do in the Swiss Alps? When she was in the Swiss Alps, do you remember seeing the picture of the ice on the rock? She was climbing and she almost fell on that steep cliff. Who did Gran meet in Hong Kong? When she was in Hong Kong, she met that man. What did he have on his back? He had wings on his back and he was singing. What did she do when she visited the Gulf of Mexico? Remember, the Gulf of Mexico is warmer. She went swimming with the eels, and she fed the fish underwater. Great memory. Give yourselves a round of applause. 
Now for our second activity page, you can go right to the Google form and I'll have all the questions in there for you. You'll answer the same questions that are on our page in our workbook for 1.2 about Grand's trip. Answer these questions in the form and then submit it so we can see your answers. Great work today. Keep up the fantastic job and I'll see you next time.